biscuit reviews from an American that you didn't even ask for. What's up, everybody? I am Adam Richmond, and welcome to a delicious edition of Biscuit Reviews from an American that you didn't even ask for. Today's biscuit is yet again from the legendary bakery McVitie's. It is a digestive, but no ordinary digestive for today. We will be sampling the classic caramel digestive. Now, all digestives come from the legendary bakery McVitie's, founded in 1830, and the first digestive didn't hit stands until 1839. Since then, there have been multiple varieties, and in fact, the classic caramel did not join the digestive family until 1999. Now, while the Manchester bakery for McVitie's produces legendary treats such as Jaffa cakes and hobnobs, the caramel digestives come from the Stockport factory. Now, while its cousin, the legendary chocolate digestive, has won many, many, many accolades, the caramel digestive is not without its own triumphs. It actually was named number six among the 27 best biscuits in the world by the UK Telegraph. And in 2004, a competition was held called Dunk for Britain, and the caramel digestive was voted the UK's favorite dunking biscuit. So today, I will be taking the Caramel Digestive on its tour through biscuit reviews from an American that you didn't even ask for. For those of you unfamiliar with this show, let me break it down for you. I will be sampling the biscuit dry, dunked into milk, dunked into coffee, and dunked into tea. Today's tea comes from legendary superstore Harrods on the old Brompton Road, and this is their afternoon tea blend. The coffee comes from Stone Street Coffee Company. This is their Brooklyn Roast, and the milk is and the cookie is going to be delicious. So there you have it, and now it is time to see how this cookie crumbles. I have to say, there is something kind of oddly comforting about any of the McVitie's biscuits because they're all sort of variations on a theme design-wise that even picking up the package, they feel the same in your hand. There's a kind of heft to them, so you do kind of feel like you're getting good bang for your buck. Oh. Sweet milk chocolatey caramel love. Okay. It literally smells like Halloween. It's like everything. It's like the sweet sort of yeastiness of a, a biscuit or a baked good milk chocolate, and you get that background butterscotchy, buttery caramel kind of flavor. I know it may be sacrilege to compare a biscuit with another one, but it is unequivocally like a more dry Twix. I think the Twix cookie um, has the same uh, sort of powderiness that this biscuit does. It has more caramel, and the caramel that it has is a little more runny, has a lot less viscosity which I think makes it a little less dry. The, the quality of the milk chocolate is excellent. I find that generally a lot of UK biscuits tend to use a kind of chocolate that's superior in many ways to the commercially available biscuits in the United States. Um, it is delicious, it is a bit drying, and it definitely needs a bit of moisture, but the flavor is still terrific. I am going to give the dry biscuit two and a half cookies. Oh, come on. That's awesome. Hmm. Somehow I kind of like it even less with milk. I think adding the room temperature caramel to cold milk made it seize and become harder. And it was even harder to chew through and it felt like the caramel became almost like a tile. Um, not the best dunking experience, I'm actually going to give it one cup of milk. Hooray! That 
was. That was like sexy. That was so good. The heat of the coffee obviously melts the chocolate, melts the caramel, but McVitie's, you have to remember Robert McVitie himself, as was Robert Jr., as was his brother, um, they were bakers by trade, and the quality of the biscuit cannot be ignored. So I think you have a biscuit that can hold up to dunking, and two things that really benefit from the addition of both liquid and heat. So you have almost like a syrupy ice cream sundae kind of feeling on the top, and then a delicious soaked crumbly biscuit on the bottom. I am going to give it three and a half cups of coffee. Now, as an American who normally drinks his tea black, I have been soundly chastised by many of my friends in the UK for not adding milk to my tea. So I want to make sure that you see that I am doing it right here on camera. I thought I would like it in tea more than I ended up liking it. In fact, the way that the biscuit reacted to the tea was how I thought it would react in the milk. It did great wonders for the dryness of the cookie, but it really added nothing to the dimensions of the caramel and the chocolate. It just kind of made them sticky and get all over your hands. Still a terrific dunk, but certainly not the best I have had. Therefore, I'm going to give the caramel digestive two and a half cups of tea. So there are my reviews for McVitie's Caramel Digestive. Do you agree? Let me know. Do you disagree? Let me know. Is there a biscuit that you love that you want to see me review? Then let me know. Remember to like, to subscribe, and whatever you eat, may your life forever be sweet. I'm Adam Richmond, and this has been Biscuit Reviews from an American that you didn't even ask for, and I'll see you next time.